Morning. Well, finally semi-respectably dressed. Hairstyle cleanly shaven. I just want to show you a couple of videos of actually what I have to deal with on a daily basis. So people come for lessons. I'm trying to be the least invasive to give you the best advice to improve, but I don't need to show you everything because then, you know, to say your arm bends, your head tilts back, your wrist roll, your face is open. If we went through that in a lesson, you'd leave and go, okay, what you need to work on is your grip was strong, the left hand, you need to get it weaker. On the back swing, your arm, your club face was open. Your right arm was bending too much. Now coming down, your weight was going to your right foot, then you were flipping, then you weren't turning and finishing. You can't do that, I don't think, in a lesson. One, maybe two thoughts, and, and that's the most. So if you're starting here, but let's have a look now. Now I'll switch around as if I, I was going to do a lesson. So if you look at this, now obviously th this is just me swinging, but these are examples of what I see every day in the lesson. So this person here, I always generally put a line somewhere there to see what's going on. So now they swing, and this is the great thing when you come for a lesson and I film you. So that head shouldn't move past that line. And now you come back, and now you're at impact and you wait. Your head's gone so far back that you're now going to hit the ground before the ball. So I'm just going to say, just say this person's name Steve. Steve, your head's moving back. It's not bad, but that's why you hit the ground before the ball and you hit the ball good on the mats. So I might go, all right, um, let's put you next to someone. So I'll split the screens now, and I might put someone over here on the right and go, here's a pro, um, put the same line on his head, and I'll go, now watch this swing. Stays very centered, always moving left. So these are the kinds of things that I experience every day on the lesson tee. So that person before I might just say to Steve I might just go all right we're just going to work on drills or feelings to stop your head from moving this person the arm bends on the backswing why does the lead arm bend normally because the trail arm folds too much then the next person comes to say this person's name's Jack let's see what he's doing so he swings and he was told to keep his head down so you keep your head down now you can't pivot then we might go from behind and this person, let's see what they're doing. That's a club face that looks opened. Wrist is really cut. So this person comes over the top, all the reaction of the face and hits fades. Next person, let's see what they're doing. No real pivot, arms put apart, arms bend. Oh, and keep the head down. What's this person here doing? Goes back. Pretty good. Oh, keep the head down, no pivot. And then last, this person here, this swing might look quite nice. Good. Nice. Really good. Great. But they might not have awareness or understanding of what's going on for the ball flight laws. So that's why when you come to my studio, I have so much stuff on the walls and everywhere. So, you know, you got to learn to say the same thing a hundred different times because everybody's different the way they learn. That's why I have all these pictures up here. So when you come for a lesson just understand how your swing works everybody's got their tendencies you don't want to get too confused only work on one or two things keep it very simple have a nice weekend thank you